Good morning, everyone. Of course, this is a beautiful morning. Once again, I don't know, this is week three, and this is the branch conversations. And you are joined by an amazing team of the old Omondi, you know, the great genius Gashao, and of course, the, um, uh, <laughs> I'm looking for a beautiful one for Pasanzisa. <laughs> of course, uh, an amazing, 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 um, you know, hospitable person, Pasanzisa. Pasanzisa is uh, here with us, Pastor Maish is here with us, and Pastor Eric Omondi is here with us. If you are new to us, this is the branch conversation, and this happens every week from 10 a.m. all the way to 11 a.m. And we are glad to be joining. And just a little bit about these two, uh, these are three people that I have on set. Pastor Nzisa leads, uh, Pastor Maish leads um, Lifespring Chapel Churches. Pastor Nzisa is married to Pastor uh, Maish, but she also leads uh, Benevolence Ministries at Lifespring Chapel. But also Eric Omondi uh, is a church planter who has a desire and a plan to plant 10,000 churches with his wife, Mary Mukali, you know, in the near future. And they live all the way in Kabombo. The rest of us live in Nairobi. My name is Hype Dante. And this is the branch conversation. We are going through the book of Revelation. And today we have an amazing, amazing topic lined up for you. Please be with us and let's engage. I will see you. Please, if you're on Facebook, let us know where you're tuning or joining us from. If you are um, all the way from maybe, let's say, another country, let us know where that is. If you're in Nairobi, let us know where exactly that is. But we are so much glad to be with you here this morning. And yes, you can see people snacking because this is the brand conversation. Tafadali, from here, Pia Ville, Kushikilia, Kwa Maombi, or in any other way. We will also have an engagement corner where we'll be letting you know about a few things or questions that we'll be asking. Please engage and interact with us. Right now, I want to throw it to Pastor Zisa, who will lead us with a word of prayer even before we start. Pastor Zisa, to you. Let's pray. <clears throat> Lord, we thank you that um, you did not leave us as orphans, that Lord, you left us with your spirit. Your spirit is a comforter. Your spirit fills us. Your spirit guides us. Your spirit reminds us of your truth. And Lord, we thank you that your spirit is here with us today. We know that it, will, it can only be by your spirit that we can understand your word. And Lord, I thank you that um, we have the comfort and the joy that comes from your spirit as we engage with this word. Thank you for the gathering of your people. Thank you for your word that is alive and active. Thank you for your word that is a double-edged sword. Thank you for these conversations that we're having. And we pray that, Lord, you will, you will have conversations with us. You will converse with us even as we converse with one another. You will be found in our midst even as we turn to the, uh, to the text of today. And Lord, we pray even as you converse with us, that, Lord, you would give us a word for this season, a word that refreshes us in this season. Thank you, Lord, for Pastor Omondi, Pastor Maish, Pastor Dano. Thank you, Lord, for the people who are joining us on Facebook. Thank you for their lives. We want to pray that, Lord, this word will be a food and drink to each and every one of us, wherever we are, because, Lord, in your power, in your eternal power, you are able to divide this word and to cause it to be food and drink for each one of us in the different situations we're in. We welcome you. We give you glory. We give you honor. We worship you because we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Pastor Maish, take it away. You have the jingle. Giuliani Alemba DJ Sadiq. This is how we start off our show. Yeah. Good afternoon. Pastor Maish has been a good DJ, Yanni. We need to we need to take you out on some serious branch. Awesome. I'm not gonna 
zeros, difference ni press, that's my point Iko, lesson uji position, especially ukiwa Una options, kago tiko barambe start No, are you go, are you sure? Uli tafuta right place Nini limpata groove, hey, hey Wanapaka Christian Dior, Leo Wasinuke kahi dance, usi waige Pages of Bibles. Yes, of course, that is what we will be doing on this show. Takwa tunachambua tu, word, kidogo, na nikona yangu, eh? All right, let's see how this goes. Now, today we have an amazing topic. Pastor Omosh will be taking us through. But kabla tufike hapo, unajua lazima tuwanze hapa, mahali boti kwe, alafu tuende deep sea. Now, I, something happened last week that was very amazing. I mean, we had Mother's Day. Last weekend, on Sunday was Mother's Day. Now Mother's Day is already waga Sunday, so that at least we are home to celebrate our mothers. But let me ask Pastor Nzisa, don't you think we are having so many Mother's Days? <laughs> I think they're like two a year. Me had a birthday once. I think you. The only day that <laughs> are celebrated is Mashujad. I think one is American, one is Jewish, what, what. Yeah, but really? you know what? Yeah, awesome. So, what can I say? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I didn't want to ask okay, the men. Joshi. Oh, Joshi. Hey, Joshi. At, at, least, at, at least the men here, it, it's only me who is not married here. But let me know. First of all, what do you think? Do you think they are necessary to go too sour? I'm a referee as Mamisha game. Uh, Mother's Day is, is necessary. It's necessary. But the <laughs> problem is, uh, <laughs> the problem is uh, yeah. ourselves we don't even remember when is Father's Day uh, and if we don't remember ourselves and that that can only mean that the other people also don't the other gender doesn't maybe remember as much <laughs> but anyway yeah. things are unnecessary and that's my point wow now that is that's the pastor Masha I remembered you to attend ya Mother's Day yeah ya Mother's Day Billy Kwanza, talking uh, of remembering Dante, talking of the remembering. Yeah. Barua. 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 Barua.
<laughs> so I eh? I love you dance kaba hati. I had a dance Thursday. Thursday. I had promised people a letter, but I will be reading my letter towards the end of the show. Sour. Bill, Bill guys, I will for real. I hope it's a But Pasi, this is Thursday. And you know, I remembered you and I've been collecting stuff basically for you. Kila wiki na collect kitu. Kila wiki na collect kitu. So, mm. nataka kukuanzisha mali tulianza. Mwanzo kabisa. Do you remember this one? Hata nikwambie, ulikuwa na Maxel, ulikuwa na TDK, ulikuwa na kwanza Chrome, zile za Chrome. Ish, kuna place nyingine pale zile ilikuwa tunaenda kupata ma mixtape. Hii hii ndio mixtape sasa. Wacha hizi zingine zenu sijui. TDK. Yeah. 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 This is this is a mix. <laughs> place place in Aitua. If you if you remember this guys, there's a place called Samburu Electronics. Tulikuwa tunapata mixtapes za kucheza kwa Kenja kwa 3. We. Eh, Byron. Na hiki. Eka kalamu. Usiweke kilometric. Big is best. Ndio ishike hooks. Ndio ishike huku hivi. Yeah. Oh, wow. All right. <laughs> when I when I see a tape, what, what I'm reminded of one song by uh, South African. I don't know yeah. who that was, but the song is called Mafula. Sio kama mnakumbuka Mafula. Anyway, I think it was a group. <laughs> Now, Pastor mm-hmm. Maish, um into more interesting stuff. We then moved on into these things. Where? Movies. Ukumbu kitu kisema kuhusu sijui left behind Armageddon yeah. sijui yeah. nini hizi ndio kanda hizi ndio kanda hizi ndio kanda na sasa hivi kwa inaingizwa kwa DVD hivi kwanza kwanza si kwa DVD we ni nini kwa kwa ni sorry 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 woi sasa tulikuwa na nyingine tulikuwa tulikuwa na zingine zilikuwa ndogo zingine kubwa sijui zilikuwa zinaitwaje na alafu ilikuwa top loading ya zilikuwa zina ni VCR ama ni nini hizo yeah, hizo ni VCR lakini kulikuwa na sizes. So kuna nyingine oh, ulikuwa na load na juu yeah, alafu inaingia chini. Yeah. We, sisi tulikuwa oh. wakali, tulikuwa na mmoja kama hiyo. <laughs> Reminds me of high school. High school is ndio tulikuwa tunatumia. And then uh, I think I think we came here. <laughs> yes. Hiyo <laughs> <laughs> ni movie gani kwanza? Hii ni I am legend by Will Smith. Hey. 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 And he, he, he has lived mm. the movie because he's he's he's, a, he's actually a legend. Shout out to Deno, mzee wa movie. Deno mtu wa movie. Legend. Deno mtu wa legend. Eh. Movie guy. And then I'm we movie. came here. Mm. And then we came here. <laughs> <laughs> this this now we are familiar. Wale millionaires wana watch wana watch akina she akina Sharon mama Azaria now they can relate na, na, nani hapa alitumia blu ray kuban ma movie blu ray blu ray movies blu ray ningia technology ingine level ingine all right um tukimalizia now you think i am done tukimalizia we had this so if you used this phone <laughs> oh ni legend <laughs> ah hiyo hiyo kwanza ni ajuzi hiyo hiyo ni ajuzi kwanza umetoa wapi hiyo hiyo hivi sasa hii ndio ilikuwa iPhone 10 na kulikuwa na hii unatumia 3210 kama nyundo kutengeneza hiyo so so Nokia 3210 so the charger is quite charger ni kubwa charger inaka hivi yeah i i Every every dance they will be throwing back some stuff we will be remembering um cuz this is your memories to live grown as I don't know what next week will will have but um every dance that we're going to we're going to have it but yes. shout out to shout out to Fred Fred in by is watching amekumbuka Samburu ah. Electronics wakienda kuchukua ma ma reggae mixtape we <laughs> Fred teacher Fred <laughs> shout out shout out shout out shout out wow <laughs> Um and then we had um so so let me go back to mother's day pastor nzisa what is yes. it that you remember about your mother that only her could do only her could do yani yani only mommy could do that i don't know <laughs> what do you remember 
alikuwa nga target practice alikuwa ni mkali yani ukirushwa tu hivi mwiko hakuna ile vile hiyo mwiko itahata i think my mom is the one person in whom discipline, discipline and love in one person are in perfect balance discipline and love are in perfect balance and i when it, discipline it's discipline when it's love it's love that you cannot doubt good one. yeah that's what i can say about my mom All right. Wow. Salute. Salute Mama Pastanzisa. At least tunakujua. <laughs> you are amazing. Pastor Omosh. W- one thing. Omosh. Ami kumbukezo my days. Akana sunaka. Oh. Uh, Omosh, your mom. <laughs> yes. Can, can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Yeah. I think I think some of the things I I I remember about my mom, uh, most of I think that I've had other people talk about their mothers as well. Uh but one that I will never forget is uh twice I made a mistake and and on top of that i made another mistake try to run uh, and mm-hmm. these two occasions <laughs> <laughs> my mother ran after me and i didn't go too far <laughs> i always remember <laughs> and of course i got my beating <laughs> so I, i think at some point i gave up running i do a mistake i is that to ni pele zina na pele I am running after you that is funny. <laughs> yes. yes. Pastor Maish. <laughs> what what's your story? <laughs> Pastor Maish is be having yeah. quite a story there. <laughs> there are so many stories here yeah, and some illustrations is come up. You know yeah. about what to do. <laughs> you need to and do a docu. <laughs> yes, yes, a docu drama. You know. <laughs> guys, what not to do? Threaten your yeah. mom at your living home. Ah. <laughs> 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 I try that. I try that. Well, and that. Uh, you would you you would 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 you one of the things that i want to celebrate my mom um, who has left us uh, many years back over 20 years back is that made alikuwa alikuwa made to the whole village <laughs> yeah akikupata <laughs> anywhere Eh, yeah, shout out to Kina Chege. Akikupata yeah. anywhere una misbehave, ana ku discipline hapo hapo. Hapo hapo. But at, <laughs> uh, uh, on the flip side, eh, akipata mm. any of the children in trouble anywhere. Anasema huyu ni mtoto wangu. I remember one story once. Um my boys walishikwa <laughs> boy boy jirani walishikwa wakicheza kamara na makarao. Mali tu huko kwa kiwanja siju wapi. Madhana anapita hivi anaona ala huyu si ni fulani. Ile mnafungua mashati nini? Mnapeleka police station. Mm. Madhana akasema this is my son. Mm. Eh? Huyu ni wangu huyu. Nipatie nini ni discipline. <laughs> Na kapewa. Sasa si jinga boy. Huyo baba imagine whether alikuwa anawashindwa ni yeye ningeenda na police. Ni nao si. Yes oh, but yeah all right hey, thank you very much shout out to all your mother shout out to mama omosh at least when we meet we are friends eh akiwa yes. akiwa bumala eh akiwa pale bumala no, he, he's here at banane eh? actually she's oh, here at she's gonna banane ah yes. awesome hey yes ni raha amefungiwa na banane eh yuko sawa um 
Mama Pastor Maish, I never met uh, you, but uh, wherever you are, um, we love you. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Yeah. Shosho Yamasi. Shoshua Wote. Shoshua Wote. We were the legend. We salute you. My mom. My mom was also special. My mom um, was the only one who could, and I, I know I have shared this before, but Mamangu tulikuwa 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 mama mwangi tulikuwa na kisima tulikuwa na well uh, just nje nje hao yetu tu so kila siku tulikuwa not not okay si kila siku but like twice a week ndo lazima ingia kukandani ya kisima kwa tulikuwa tunakutana kamba at least twice lazima ndo itaanguka na none of us could be akuna na of course i was the first born so nilikuwa nategemewa nitoe but singeweza kutoa hiyo ndo My mom would come mm. after hustle. Na sio alitoka jobs juisa, alitoka kwa hao like 6 a.m. akaenda ku hustle. And she would come back at 8 p.m. atauma tochi, alafu atafute wire sengenge, arushe ndani ya, ya, ya well, alafu at, hey, yani my mom avuta <laughs> gangster. OG. But uh, <laughs> she's the only one who could get the bucket out. At, at least that I remember. Yes. Yeah. Na alikuwa na rabazi alikuwa anaenda nazo job rabas tukikosa kuosha hizo raba shoes za ngoma na umoja we ile kesi itakuwa huko tutashinda tukiambiwa eh mnataka nikufe sasa unashanga mama njeli kama mama njeli unashanga rabas rabas na kukufa zinaingilia na wapi but anyway guys this is the branch conversation i have lost my i have lost my chat on facebook but it's all right i will be back I don't know I needed to shout out a few people but it's all right na jo ntarudi tu sasa hivi internet manenos but I am excited that we are here and plus you can help me big up a few people if you can see them on your end but yes this is the branch conversation and we happen every Thursday sanne kamili hadi satano and of course this is the crew of pastor Maish pastor Nzisa and pastor Omosh and today pastor Omosh is on the throne are you on the throne really but you're telling us about who about the throne a little bit ndio <laughs> but lakini ma- mali umekani kama umekani yeah, yeah. hebu just amka kidogo acha tuone kiti chako ndani lakini na jeni vigari wanaitwa the throne the throne room bro uko na kiti cha so zoom dressing hii hizi kiti cha enzi all right <laughs> Tell, tell us where you're taking us today and uh, yeah what are we expecting today All right guys uh it's good to see you all uh or to interact with those who are interacting with us especially on Facebook uh it's always exciting to do this every Thursday and, and especially with these beautiful people uh the Gashaus and Pastor Dante a good friend of mine So today we continue with the conversation uh We looked at Genesis uh, not Genesis which we looked at Revelation the first chapter how it all begins uh John in the island of Patmos you know being given this vision but the part i really like about chapter 1 is uh where he sees this guy as part of the vision and then he he responds in fear and i think you and i would still do that but the words that he is told are this simple words that God still repeats in his uh, in his words in the bible to us who interact with it do not be afraid because fear will always try to check in and fear the bible says it's from from the enemy and then after that john is shown the state of the church in asia and he's asked to write specific messages to the churches in asia and we looked at that last thursday just as pastor sanzi introduced us into that conversation and today we see uh a scene where by john nikama it's like you visiting someone in their office and he's probably like a big guy uh in this organization and then you get there and you're told to to wait at the waiting room or waiting space the reception and then this guy comes and tells you uh come okay. tuishe hivi alafu anakupeleka kwa ofisi kwa ofisi yake supu alafu unaona kiti kiti fiti pale wazee paka you are amazed you're thinking so john finds himself in such a such a space eh uh, like a waiting room of some sort eh but then now he's told come let's go to the throne room and guess what manze jonah kaenda kacheki vitu ajawaiona 
in his entire life. And he sees a throne and there's someone sitting on that throne. And there's a lot of description that happens. Uh, while all this is to show us uh, the value of the, uh, well, the value of the throne, but there are things. There are other thrones around the throne and there are people, there are, there are creatures, like the four, uh, four creatures and there are 24 elders with their own thrones as well and with their crowns and just like you know the, the man sitting on the throne with his own his crowns but the difference is that these 24 elders do something worshiping this man sitting on this throne you know removing their crowns which indicates something that this guy and his crown is bigger than us he deserves uh this kind of of response from us. But we won't look, uh, I won't go into many details. The thing that stands out for me completely, completely in this story of the front room, and that is basically uh, chapter four and five that we've been interacting with today, is, uh, and I like how a friend of mine, Pastor Zef, puts it, chapter four seems to be a setting of the main, um, of a scene that introduces the main character. And the main character in this case is Jesus Christ. And is introduced in two ways. But in these two ways, there is the second way he's introduced in seems to be overshadowing. Or yeah, let me just use that word, overshadowing the, the first way he's introduced. And the way he's introduced is introduced in such a way that there was a need. A need is created. There is something, there's a scroll that is introduced in there, and it's supposed to be opened. And this scroll has seals that need to be broken. And definitely there was someone among all these people that John sees in this, uh, in this scene, one of them is supposed to open, but there was no one worthy to open it except this main character, Jesus Christ. And he's told that, don't worry about it. And John, when John was told that no one can actually open it, he, he felt very, very sad. And I'm imagining for him, he, he felt really, really among men, there was no one who can actually do such kind of a thing. Is this, uh, and I'm imagining he felt, is this how, how wicked, how sinful? Is this the, uh, he imagined the magnitude of sin among humanity that made us not able to, to open the scroll. And then he's told, don't worry, the lion of the tribe of Judah is going to open it. And then guess what? As he was expecting to see this lion showing up to open the, tri uh, the, the, the seal, uh, the scroll and open and, and, and break the seals, he sees the lamb that was slain. He comes in a way that John did not even expect. And, and this, this is kind of a thing that makes the movie even more interesting because it creates suspense it develops questions or conversation we want to talk about today. And we also look at how the creatures around the throne, around this lamb that was slain for your sins and my sins, uh, how they respond to him we talk about today, Pastor Dante. Thank you very much, Pastor Omosh. Uh, wherever you are, we can appreciate that. Um, yeah, that was amazing. Um, but, um, you know, you mentioned in that um, only because in my story, it appears like uh, my dad would have been the best person to get uh, my back, the bucket out. Eh? But only my mom, one person that the most unlikely people. Eh? Yeah. And uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, and that is why I think um, I wanted to really know what is it that only your mother could, could do? Because at times our mothers are taken to be you know, the ones, the soft ones and all those things, but really they, they are really powerful, very powerful. They're equally powerful by the way. But to Kendall and Ahaya, we have uh, like 20 minutes before we close. Um, and what I want to ask to do is uh, look a little bit um, of what has been shared here. Um, uh, you know, I, I think the, the foundation has been laid um, and now we can look at it. Pastor Maish, Pastor Nzisa, from what has been said, um, what do you hear? Let's engage. What stands out for you? I, I, I think um, for, for me, looking at Revelation in this season and looking at it this way has been an eye-opener. Um, it has been very 
um, interesting to to even just see the, the the insights that are found in there in the interesting ways that it is it is, it is developed uh, you know pastor eric's uh, depiction of your scene kama office yam say you know um so we're gonna move to ev like when you get to the place where he reigns from una una realize wow kumbe um say anakwaga and your source you know um and uh, it's, it's it's a picture that that uh, uh coming in and having to see the throne room like that described like that um calls you to respond in reverence you know in worship you're like wow you know look at that and that this is the stage that is set for everything else that un un uh, unravels in the book of revelation um and that having to keep coming back to this stage that he's on the throne so i'm even thinking about the current situation that we are in um you know we're in quarantine we are going through a difficult time people who are you know um, daily wage workers can't get work they don't get work they don't get to eat today um kuna to laid off I'm, I'm, my heart goes out to you know people in restaurant businesses people in those businesses that depend on uh, us having free, uh, free movement and now many people are losing their source of livelihood and it's very easy to think that the throne is vacated you know akuna mtu kwa throne um, has god left us has he abandoned us and when you look at it this way and you're seeing he is seated on the throne and he deserves worship no matter what the circumstances in the good times and in the bad times and that he's in control so um even if the enemy was trying something he cannot succeed because there is one who is seated on the throne there one there's one who is majestic so that's the picture that i'm getting uh, during this season um i think for me i get uh, several pictures um i see chapter 4 and 5 uh, as uh, as as two sides to a coin you know when you hold a coin there's a there's a picture you see like maybe of you know the father of a nation or you know whatever a country but then at the back you have the details this is a republic of kenya this was done in this year and i think i see when i see chapter four is like that front face that you see majestic and chapter five you have the work the work of the republic the year it was made uh you know this is a property of this nation and things like that uh, we see the, the creatures that worship the one seated on the throne also take off their uh, also worshiping the lamb um, in just agreeing with what we see in the gospels Christ receiving worship so for me chapter 4 and 5 affirms the things that we saw in the gospel we saw uh, Jesus saying I, I do the things that I see my father doing if you have seen me you have seen the father so for me chapter 4 and 5 affirms that chapter 4 and 5 also affirms um first corinthians chapter 8 verse 6 it says yet for us there is but one god the father from whom all things come from and for whom we live and there is but one lord jesus christ through whom all things came and through whom we live so things uh, come to us from God but they come to us through Christ salvation through Christ um, so for me it, it affirms it affirms that things are from God the glory that we see Christ is from God but things come to us through Christ salvation through Christ healing through Christ so for me it affirms it affirms a lot of scripture uh, and the place of Christ as the lamb and the Lion of Judah. Yeah. Back to you, Dano. Pastor Nzisa, before I leave you, I, I have a question here. Um, so try to imagine what can be seen and heard, all right, uh, from, and especially from this portion of scripture. Uh, what are some of your initial imp impressions of God's glory as envisioned here? I think for me <clears throat> is... Um, it's what he sees. He sees, he sees stones that he has never seen. 
He sees beings he has never seen. He sees thrones. He sees majesty that he had never seen. Um, but then he also hears worship. He hears worship. When the, when, when the creatures that are around there, the angels, the four creatures, the elders, in that space where they're in, their focus is worship. Their focus is worshiping the one seated on the throne. They don't worship the, the stones. They don't worship, you know, the, the, uh, the, the, the mesmerizing things around them. They worship the one seated at the throne. So what I'm hearing is worship. I'm hearing mm. worship, worship, worship. That's what I'm hearing. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Pastor yeah. Zisa. Allow me to also add eh, something about uh, the sounds are about crowns. Um, mm -hmm. Because it seems like in that throne room, there are mm -hmm. elders, eh? there are others, eh? mm -hmm. there are others who are wearing crowns. And mm -hmm. I see this as um, they are saints, um, the people who pleased God that they were invited into mm -hmm. uh, that space, mm -hmm. given um, places of prominence and their leaders mm -hmm. and influencers, and there were 24 of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But when it came to um, beholding the one who sits on the throne, even they lay down their mm -hmm. crowns, mm -hmm. you know. And I don't know what that tells me, because um, um, as, as Christians, we have, we, there are thrones that scripture has, uh, you know, different thrones. And maybe this I can list mm -hmm. um, some of those thrones, mm -hmm. but they're different thrones. But he also promised a, um, a crown. A crown. No, yeah. no throne, crowns, yeah. The scripture talks about crowns that will be given crowns mm -hmm. you know crowns of righteousness there are many crowns mm -hmm. that will be given but when we come into the presence of the one who sits on the throne even those mm -hmm. crowns mm -hmm. are to be laid down you know yes you've earned it you've deserved it but you lay it down you know lay down your ministry god has given you a ministry he's given you a calling he's given you success in that space but in the presence of the one who sits on the throne mm -hmm that is laid down you lay it down to worship him mm -hmm. you know it could be a talent and a gift mm -hmm. that god has given you and it has brought you a lot of fame but in mm -hmm. the presence of the one who sits on the throne you lay that down mm -hmm. and you worship him you know it seemed like that's the thing that they delighted in doing mm -hmm. over mm -hmm. and over again mm -hmm. and i think right. that's that's a critical application for us in this day because you can read Revelation and just like, you know, it's like there's something out there to wow us. But then when we see that it's, um, it's application for us, that we can lay down, we can lay down. So I, I, I really appreciate what Pastor Maish is saying, laying down our crowns. Mm. Um, uh, Pastor Mosh, I know you have something you'd like to share, but uh, even before you go, um, uh, I, I'm hearing, you know, that I would like us to come back into, you know, the 24 elders and the four creatures and how um, that um, translates into a worship. Um, but I also want to ask um, Pastor Mosh, what are some of the crowns uh, mm -hmm. that um, commonly we, we hold or we put on and sometimes even are not willing to drop, yet uh, they affect... Um, even our worship to God. And uh, you can also if, give personal examples, maybe. Did you scare him away? No, unajuaya kwa maju, so in a kawia. Well, I, I think, Pastor... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh... <laughs> Uh, I think Pastor Maish already alluded to some of those. And interestingly, I, I wanted to add something just in relation to what you already shared, but maybe just make it a bit more practical or yeah, give practical examples. But I would like to say some of these crowns um, are the things that God has given. You know this vibe of worshipping uh, Okay, story to use this, but you see this vibe of one uh, worshiping uh, the provision God has given instead of worshiping the God who provided, worshiping the blessing 
uh, that God has given you instead of worshiping the blesser himself um, and such stuff. I think in many ways, these are some things that become crowns. Uh, it could be the good and it becomes your everything. You want everyone to know that you know what degree I have. Some of us, it's just position and you've had people over and over. And sad enough, even uh, church leaders, I've had church leaders and I've, we begin make uh, credentials, a uh, blessing such as, you know, material blessings and even children. Some of us have even our spouses and children as the, the crowns that we wear and they matter so much than God himself uh and not make it to use my example some of us do so well maybe in ministry and you have a very good experience and a, a good success stories in ministry that you be that i begin there are times that i find myself beginning to bow down to what has happened instead of bowing down to he who made it happen that, that's my practical example you, you you get opportunities to disciple people and the life stories are very exciting you're looking at it and you're thinking Ah, I am grateful I stepped out. I obeyed God. But it needs to go further uh, from that statement. You need to go further to say, I am grateful that God is working through me. Yeah. All right. Uh, anyone else with something to add? Well, th th there's plenty that we can talk about in, in this area. But I, I, perhaps maybe just hear from the viewers, those who are joining us uh, in the comments. What, what are some of the, 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 the crowns that God has blessed them with? Because crowns are not necessarily things that are negative. Um, mm -hmm. And what are some of those things that um, uh, people need to lay them down in honor of the one who is seated on the throne? Mm -hmm. You know, uh, it would be good to hear that. All right. As we interact, um, uh, please uh, let us also know how we can support you in prayers. But also let us know who it is that you'd like to say hi to. We would like to pick them up. And especially them that have birthdays this month. All right. So before we end, we will be, you know, shout, being, uh, sending shout outs to our friends who have birthdays today. But um, Pastor Omosh. I'm a, I'm a Pastor Omosh. I'm a Pastor Bado Pastor Omosh. Bado Wewe. Uh, let me ask. So I, I wanted to know how does um, the, re the reaction of the 24 elders and the four uh creatures um define help us define and practice worship anything um there's something pastor Zisa said earlier that while there was a lot within uh the crown room and even the description that is given of the person sitting on the on the throne and the description of the throne and all that these people are intentionally the creatures the four creatures and the 24 elders are intentionally worshiping the man seated on the throne they are not worshiping these other things mm. and i would like to say that sometimes in our worship to god there are so many things that we allow to be distraction mm. around us and when God wants our full attention, we begin to, to pay attention to who's standing next to us, who's watching. Uh, in a church setting, the way we, we used to know church a uh, few months ago, uh, before Corona, uh, when God wants, especially as the person that is in charge of the worship, but you're thinking about the keyboard that is not working right, and you want things to be in a particular to work in a particular way instead of just connecting with god uh and i think this this is something that we need to pick but then also even the way they bow down tells us something uh, um and maybe just remind us that we need to actually acknowledge God for who he is, has done, what we've heard about you know him. We are, the way you treat a friend because you know them, 
very well is different from a friend you've heard of just recently. Understand? Mm -hmm. So maybe this is something we need to learn as Christians and begin to worship God for who we, he, whatever he's revealed to us, uh, we respond to that in adoration and in just exalting his name. The bowing down here is a way of total surrender. That shows total surrender and just allowing God to be who he is and laying down your whole life in worship. And I wish we, beginning with myself, I wish we learned how to do this every day and just surrendering our whole selves in worship to God. Wow. Wow. And, and that would make me now ask a question. But when we come back, even as we close, uh, we go towards the end. Pastor Omoshi will still close for us, but uh, uh, Pastor Nzisa and Pastor Maish, we will start with Pastor Nzisa. The question I have is, um, uh, so, so worship is not an action, but a reaction. Um, a response evoked by a vision uh, of God's glory. Uh, if we have difficulty worshiping God, um, and because I realize that sometimes we may talk so much here, and then uh, it, it, not everybody really is having a good time, even uh, in their fellowship with God, even with their, you know, just worship. And I know yesterday we were talking about something else, devotion. Uh, so, so what might we need to do? All right. So that is when we come back. But right now, the question I want to ask the viewers, the people who are watching us uh, uh, from home is, if earthly worship is to be modeled after heavenly, what is most lacking? in my experience or your experience of worship what is lacking in that experience if if we were to model or if 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 if, if um this is the model if um uh earthly worship is to be modeled after heavenly heavenly yeah? so what is lacking in my worship uh interact with us please on facebook but um let me hear what uh, pastor Nzisa thinks about the question i just asked um um up there uh, and then pastor maish will also share pastor mosh um because I think uh, time is 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 on our is not on our side. Um, you, I would want us to finish with um, so what, right? Because so, I think for for an ordinary person like me, um, this might be a lot of things to, to you know to, to try to comprehend on all those things. But uh, what would be a good conclusion for me, um, even as I go home, Pastanzisa? Pasanzisa, you are on mute. Okay, so what, when I look at these elders and these creatures worshipping, what, what catches my attention is the content of what they're saying. They talk about the qualities of the person seated on the throne. They don't talk about the way they are falling down. They don't talk about the way they are laying down their crowns. In fact, it is John who is telling us that they're laying down their crowns. What they focus on, uh, in fact, I'm reading a, 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 a version here that say, they don't even bow down, they fall down, as in wanaanguka, at the, and they're doing this over and over and over again. And the focus is holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was, who is, and is to come. And because they're, that they have a vantage point. They are able to see God's counsel in perspective, which is something that we don't have sometimes mm -hmm. because of we are sinful, we live in a sinful world, and sometimes we focus on ourselves. We focus on, Akisasa, I had to wake up to pray. Mm -hmm. I had to do this to worship. But their mm -hmm. focus is not on the crowns. Their focus is not on their personal inconvenience. In fact, it's not an incon it doesn't look like an inconvenience. They don't talk about themselves at all. They are mm. constantly talking about the, the attributes of God, the, what God is doing, um, how holy he is. And I think that should be the focus of our worship. The focus of our worship is, yeah, so God has given you a crown. God has given you a Benz, has given you a house. The focus of our worship is not that house. The focus is his holiness, his mm. power, his hand, his glory. Um, mm. And that is something that has really challenged me. That the focus is not on that which they have. Their focus is not, I praise you God for my crown. No, their focus is 
God. So worship is really mm. not about us. It is about mm. God. Mm. Yeah. All right. Pastor Marish. You know, um, when I think about worship and uh, the, the limited descriptions that we have given it, that uh, we praise when we sing fast, fast songs. And then when you sing the same song and you slow down, it becomes worship. How did we come to believe such lies? I have no idea, you know, how we, we came to believe things like those, you know. <laughs> and so, so, so that, that's... So, Nazare book seven in To say, me, yani, um, especially in this season of Corona, there are, there are so many things that all my life I have known to describe worship. Mm-hmm. Okay. And suddenly those things I can't do. You know, we used to mm. think nobody can stop reggae. You know, mm. <laughs> then reggae stops. Well, you know, can. Yeah. And then Moi, Moi passed away and the reggae had to stop. Would you want to come yeah. later? You know, um, but the, the, the reality is uh, a lot of the things that we have exalted as worship, we have even come to know mm. this is what worship is. It seems like it is not. It is not, mm. and and I like what Nisa has said. You know, worship removes me from the from the scene. It removes me from my inconveniences. I'm not. It's not what worship is. You know, it's not how well I do it. Mm. Yeah, it is. It is complete focus on the one that we worship. You know, that that is what it is. So in whatever it is that you do, check who the focus is. You know. Check if the focus is, you know, do I lift my hand half mast or whatever it is? Why is that even an issue? Why is lying prostrate an issue? It's because it has me at the center. It is my inconvenience. It is me feeling, ay, maze, magoti yako apochini, zi, you know, ama ngozangu zitachafuka, or watani juu, watani wanaje, watani chukwaje, you know. It's me who is at the center. And that's not, the moment I start seeing myself at the center, you know, when I'm giving and I want the cameras to come and, and see that I am giving, I become the one who's at the center, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, so anything that has me at the sure. center, this is now I'm speaking to myself, cannot be worship. Okay? It, it cannot be. It is worship, but it is worship of you. Well, yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, essentially, it just puts me on the throne. Mm-hmm. Me elders want to talk about the and I talk the throne. Well, yeah. 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 <laughs> yes. Basically, that's what I'm doing. And then they worship themselves. Yes. Also, <laughs> and then they worship themselves because the, the one sitting on the throne can't worship them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dante, time doesn't allow us to keep going on and on. <laughs> we can go on and on and on and on. But brother, brother, but, but, you know, yeah. Yeah, but, but yeah, th- thank you. Anyway, I, I like I like this conversation. You you guys know that I love, I love I love worshiping. But also I am learning, uh, even as we interact with this book, uh, there are many things I'm learning about worship. And one of the things that I've been remembering over and over again, and especially I think, I think church for what many of us have known it for a long long while has misled us in many many things. Have you have you been to church and then you're told now it's time to worship and then you're singing slow songs and then when you're done you're told Nisaya praise mm-hmm. <laughs> meaning now you're singing very fast and loud songs. Don't tell me when to praise. Yeah, so, to you, you see that vibe. I, I don't know where it came from. I really don't know where it came from that we made uh the the tempo of the song to yes. tell us that now we are worshiping and yet you see this song could be slow but it has a lot of praise statements and you're telling me now i'm not praising god i'm worshiping because the song is slow this <laughs> what worship truly is <laughs> what worship truly is and going back to my words worship is response to what god th- that's how i see it my worship is response to what god has shown me has done 
with me or for me. And you can see that, Dano, as I conclude, you can see that even in the Bible stories, people like Moses, Moses with the burning bush, he worshipped because of what God had revealed to him as response. Someone like Jacob, someone like Abraham, and most of these people will raise altars to show their worship to God because of what God had what God had revealed or told them. And that is how I see myself, you know, as a Christian who should desire to walk that kind of a journey with God, whereby every morning when I wake up, I am trusting that God will reveal something new to me. Mm. And my response will be, I worship you, Lord. I just worship you. Whether I'm in that bathroom, in that kitchen, or in that car, you know, wherever you are, you don't need to be in church and someone tell you it now, it's time to worship. No, you don't determine when it's time to worship. Instead, in heaven, worship happens 24-7. Mama, let's get into a mood of worship. <laughs> no, what turn mood? The lights. And yeah. <laughs> then you turn down guys, the lights. So that you guys, <laughs> but we have to close. <laughs> We, we have to close at this point. Thank you very much, Pastor Maish. Thank you very much, Pastor. What's your handle on Facebook, Pastor Maish? CG Minor. CG Shao Minor. All right. Pastor, CGM. CG Shao Minor. Pastor Zisa, what's your handle on Facebook? Are you on Facebook? Zisa <laughs> Maish. Yes, yes. Well, okay. You know, it was just this is in Sawa Maish. Korada. At a Twitter. The Twitter, Mama Masi, Twitter on Twitter. Mama Masi, all right. And Facebook? Elizabeth. <laughs> Elizabeth Nzisa. Elizabeth all right. Nzisa. <laughs> all right. Uh, brother, and Facebook? Omosho Mwix. Facebook, Eric Omondi. Eric Omondi. All right. <laughs> yes, please, <laughs> interact with this. <laughs> Nasiu Le Comedian. <laughs> yeah, the difference ni <laughs> nyele <laughs> The difference in your life is that you are differently. Yeah, we may die black, yeah, we may die a brown. So that's the difference. But they are both funny. Ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the end of our show. My name is Hype Dante on Facebook and all over. And please, on Thursday, we will be back again. It's an hour of just engagement, interaction, and branch conversations. And if you doubt, yes, we have our branch right here. I don't know what this is, but... Um, because Ilianza Kama Uji. 10 seconds of your letter. Oh, 10 seconds of my letter. Ah, ni baru wangapi. Yeah, so, so, uh, as I read my letter, Pastor Maish has uh, the... Pastor, unatupeleka nje na, na ile wimbo yetu wama tunanzaje. Ivo tu, iva kuna njia nyingine. Kuna njia nyingine. Kama so, kawa. Yeah. Uh, so here is my letter. Do you have any prayer request? Yes, please. Any prayer request? Uh, Pastor Maish, on your end? From your end? No, 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 no. All right. We will, yeah. we will still pray for them. We will still pray for them. Um, yes. So maybe Eric, you can pray even as I, before I read my letter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I hope you read it today. And maybe that's a prayer item. Lord, we thank you for the conversations that we continue to have around your word, um, which could as well signify uh, your throne. And this is worship in itself, oh God as we give our minds and our energies to interact with your word and desiring to just uh, see you revealing yourself more and better to us so that we can we can actually when you talk about becoming christ like as christians we we have a better understanding of what that really looks like and not being contented with with the less that we know of you dear lord i pray in thanksgiving for those who've been joining us oh god and as we share this uh, revelations, oh God, of, of, of who you are and what your plans are for your people, for the world you created, Lord Jesus, that Father, it will bring transformation in their lives, just as it happens in our lives as well. And we pray that, Lord Jesus, you will be exalted in all that we do as we continue to live for you, anticipating your coming, because you will truly, truly come back again and live with us eternally. I bless this team uh bless the gashaus bless pastor dante i bless those who have watched with us and even those who will probably watch later oh god the father the covering will be upon them in jesus name we pray amen 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 so that is seconds of my barua this is how it goes so i wrote this when i was in cell i was arrested a few weeks ago 
and I will not tell you why, but I am a good person, right? Don't judge. So this is, I wrote this inside the cell. I felt it was, it was, it was a Paul John moment, all right? You see like a collaboration of Paul and John, eh? I'm writing to my churches, a letter to my churches mm. here, you know, but while I'm also- in quarantine wh while and in quarantine, prison. Gosh, and in Gosh, and in prison. Is, and in prison. This is Paul and John. It's a poor job. Any poor job. Now, um, this is what it says. Um, this is your servant, Dante. I trust you are holding up well. I am writing this from myself. I am with six other men and we are well. It's stinky here, but it is well. I did not have my mask on. I now do. None of the men here have masks on um, but me. It's scary. <laughs> Only yesterday I encouraged Move Radio crew to always have their masks on, but lo, little did I know I would forget mine first. On this day, we officially launched the Move second season dubbed The Drift. Even in this situation, I pray I don't drift from the belief that God is powerful and able to get me out of this and uh, out of this and uh, without sin. When this uh, is such a test, I am thankful to the family praying with me. You who just read this text, Padua, for following me like Luke, even as I carry my cross. The two ladies, Sharon and Janet, who also came to see me, thought they could not. They could not. My bro, though far but concerned, and my beautiful girl, Audrey Ree, for encouraging our words and prayer. Brethren, stay strong. Unaskia finishing when you know Brethren, stay strong. Help me fight Corona by following government's regulations. Also, pray that in all situations, you don't sin. Thank you very much. See you on Thursday, Giuliani. On Thursday, the pistol. To the judges. To the judges. And Difference, place, that's my point, Ico. Less on the position, especially with you, but no options. Guys, don't think of our ambassadors. No, are you go? Are you sure? Only to put the right place. Nini limpaka, groove, eh, yeah. Wanna pack a Christian Dior, Leo. Wasi nuke ka hidden, susi wa ige, hao.